Ladies and gentlemen, you and I both know a skilled workforce is the hallmark for any developed country. Therefore, skills training is extremely important for the economic development of any country, and of course, Fiji is no exception. In that regard, the Technical Colleges of Fiji is, uh, is offering very significant skills development programs, and its contribution to the national growth is invaluable. The Technical College of Fiji is the premier provider of national qualifications accredited through the Fiji Higher Commission in automotive electrical, automotive mechanical, electrical feeder mechanic, body works, spray painting, refrigerations, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, welding, fabrication, carpentry, cabinet making and jewelry, plumbing and sheet metal, cookery, baking, and industry and agriculture field training. Over the years, the Technical College of Fiji has continued to make progress to provide quality infrastructure for each campus to ensure graduates are competent in their chosen programs. Of course, at this point of time, let me also acknowledge the leadership of the Director of Technical Colleges and all our staff of the 15 colleges for giving us the day that we see today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, like I said, we have continued to make progress and the announcement that now technical colleges will be transitioned into the Fiji National University program is a step forward. Since 2016, 4,466 students have graduated from our technical colleges. And the most popular program among the campuses is National Certificate to in Kukri. The demand for specific skills speaks for itself and prepares us to where we are headed in terms of new job creation. Today, 500 students will receive their national certificate from five campuses. We have 66.8% male graduates and 33.2% female graduates. I hope to see these numbers obtain a balance in the coming years. Okay. So in terms of the CBC campus now, we have 40 students. The Suva Hospitality and Textiles Training, we have 111 students graduating. The Nambu Sanatan campus has 129 students. The Anjuman Hidayat Al Aslam campus 147, Talibur North campus 56, and Radhusay Kamisa Samara campus 17. Like I said, out of the 500 graduating students, I'm happy to note that 65% have already secured employment after their work placement. To the graduates, graduation marks the start of a new and a wonderful journey in life ahead, growing from the seeds you have sown during the period in technical colleges. You are now equipped with the tools that will help you start a future for yourself, in a future of immense possibility and a future that you will make with your own efforts. Again, you can be justifiably proud of yourself today because you have successfully completed your training with industry attachments. As you reflect upon the journey that has brought you to this juncture, I'm quite certain that you will recall the many ups and downs you faced on your road to success. Yes. For every gown that you wear in this hall, there is a story, and the story is special to you. Your persistence and the industry have been well rewarded in spite of the destructions many of you may have gone through. And of course, you should know there are no shortcuts in life. And where you are today, you have achieved that with your hard work, dedication, commitment, and of course, the support of your parents and loved ones. What you will receive today is a recognition of your commitment to your training, which has been made possible by the joint effort of trainers and the mentors at the Technical Colleges of Fiji. We expect a lot out of you, and I have every confidence that each and every one of you will excel in your chosen path. Be excellent ambassadors of our Technical Colleges of Fiji and make our Technical Colleges proud by your strong, innovative, ethical and excellent contributions to our beloved nations. For this reason, I say to you, dear graduates, that when you, when you step out into your new workplaces in the next couple of weeks, it is important that you all have the vision in your mind to guide you each day. Always remember the huge potential that you have and also the responsibility that has been placed on your shoulders. It is all within, your, within you to realize the potential that you have and the fact that you will be able to transform the knowledge um, and skills that you have gained at the technical college and put it into your work experiences. I urge you to rise to challenges, be innovative, don't be afraid if you fail. Always remember the words of Sir Winston Churchill who said, and I quote, success is not final, failure is not fatal, 
It is the courage to continue that, that counts and counts. There are many success stories that we have shared, many success stories of our students from various campuses and how they have been able to acquire jobs both at the local and the international market. Let me share your story from Central College, story of Samuela. Samuela could not enter secondary school due to financial problems faced, faced by his family. His future seemed bleak until he enrolled in painting and decoration at Suva campus in 2017. After his attachment at Public Rental Board, he was recruited by a New Zealand-based company. Currently, Samuela is earning close to 950 New Zealand dollars a week. This 25-year-old thanks the government for setting up the technical colleges for students like him. You all can be Samuela. You are no different. Okay? And you've always stressed out. Mainstream students are special. Our technical college students are also special. So please don't see yourself as being second to none because you've gone through technical colleges. Because you've dropped out of school and you decided to continue studying. You are very special. And of course you know that technical colleges give opportunities to a lot of mature students. And I always share this experience when I was in Tangi Tangi. I was so impressed meeting, I've forgotten his name, a 55 year old student. And there's so many like that whom technical colleges has given an opportunity. So if you can inspire someone Who's, who's dropped out of school. If you can inspire someone who wants to learn again, please be ambassadors of that. And I'm sure you and I can make a difference in the lives of many, many other Fijians. So, um, so again, there are many students like Samuela who are doing us proud, who are proud ambassadors of our technical colleges, and I expect each one of you to be there. Okay? We are keen to see that all students graduate, graduating here today find a useful and productive vocation. We are equally keen to see a large number of you returning to the university for further studies. Please don't stop here. Okay? We'd love for you to come back and complete your diplomas and you complete your degrees. And we, as a government, we have our initiative where we fund your education. So don't stop here. There is, there is especially in the world of rapid technology, technological change, no place for complacency. We as Fijians need to keep its pace with technological improvements taking place around the world. Graduates from technical colleges therefore must be at the forefront in the industry and profession. The government, we on our part, are fully committed to providing the necessary resources and support our technical colleges and our students. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fijian government has allocated an unprecedented sum of 255 million in the 2018-2019 national budget to assist all Fijians realize their dream of attaining tertiary education and, and to ensure that no young person is left behind, even at the tertiary level, because you cannot afford it. With an increase in the national top scholarship from 630 to 970, more students who have completed year 30 or equivalent foundation studies in 2018 can secure full scholarships. Those students who miss out on the national top scholarship need not be disheartened as they can pursue the higher education under the tertiary education loan schemes. Of course, the added benefits are accommodation support scheme, under which students can borrow for hostels and meals and bus fare, rent, incidental and stationary allowance. There's so much that we're doing to ensure that we, that we have a smart and educated uh, future for Fiji and the opportunities are there for everybody. All you've got to do is to maximize the opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned again, from 1st August 2019, Technical College of Fiji administration will be under Fiji National University. And Professor Nigel Healy, I can count on you and your team to ensure that we have a successful transition into this. Our focus, as I mentioned, is quality. Quality improvement and recognition for specific technical skills. Our Fiji Higher Education Commission has been working with the Technical College of Fiji to have quality assured programs in place. As a result, the Technical College of Fiji has been the champion of delivering national qualifications over the last three years. And of course, these national qualifications have been developed with and under the advice of our respective industries. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiji needs quality graduates to meet the expectations of the labor market, be it local, be it in the Pacific, or at the international stage. We need qualifications to be trusted and respected by other countries for labor mobility. For Fiji to grapple effectively with the current and emerging realities of the 21st century and to ensure that our graduates 
have the necessary 21st century skills for international benchmarking, we will need to improve and expand the output of our education system to produce human resources of high quality for employment and of course for our contribution to the international knowledge economy. Again, before I close, to the 2019 graduates, I once again congratulate you and wish you the very best for the future. Hours and hours of perseverance, commitment, sacrifice, sleepless nights have finally won for you. Today, you have successfully completed your studies and have fulfilled your dreams of graduating in the, thing, in the program that you have pursued. But like I said, there should be no stop to education. Please proceed and pursue a higher education. You have worked hard. Your parents have supported you. Your families have supported you. We as a government have supported you. The industry partners have supported you and given you a lot to be where you are. Make them and make the institution proud through your contributions, especially by being hardworking, innovative, committed, and ethical in your work and being an inspiration to others. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, my task would not be completed if I do not if I do not address the faculties, fellow tutors and lecturers, thank you very much for your efforts. What we see here this morning are fruits of your labor. And I thank you and I commend you for a wonderful work that you've done. The credibility of any graduating student is as good only as the training and the education he or she receives from the facilities and the tutors. On that note, I wish to state categorically here that the government, management, parents and students, of course the employees of various industries which your students will venture into expect nothing less but the best. It is therefore that you remain competent and competitive. I encourage you all to be determined and further pursue studies and trainings and upgrade your qualifications to Certificate 3 and Certificate 4 at tertiary institutions. And again, to all the parents, guardians and the supporters, thank you very much for holding the hands of our graduates. Thank you very much for trusting our technical colleges and, and, and enrolling your children to be part of this wonderful, wonderful journey that has seen fruition here this morning. So, thank you all for being here and God bless you all and wish you all the best. Shall we go?